Hello and welcome. Methods of proving theorems. Any theorem or proposition can be written in the form P implies Q. We say P implies Q or we say if P then Q. Now today we are going to discuss the direct proof. So what you do, <coughs> you assume P is true and you prove Q is true. So that's how direct proof works. So you assume P is true and you prove Q is true. And here's a few examples now. If N is even, then N square squared is even. <coughs> So before you prove anything, you need to really understand what you're trying to prove. You're trying to say that if I have an integer n that is even, say 4, if I square it, I get 16, which is even. If I take 8 and I square it, I get 64 is even. So I'm going to try to prove that for all uh, integers, even integers n. Now here's, in this situation, this is p. And this is Q. So you say assume N is even, prove N square is even. <coughs> and here is the proof. So what do we have? We have N is even, which means N is of the form 2k and k is, uh, is an integer any even number is of this form then n squared is 2k squared 4k squared 2 times 2k squared 2 times L, you call this here L, and that one, this one is what? This one is even. So that's really straightforward. Now, example number two. Uh, if N is odd, then 5n plus 6 is odd. All right, so now uh, again, this is p and this is q. So assume or suppose n is odd, prove 5n plus 6 is odd. Here's the proof. So what do we have? We have n is odd, then n equals 2k plus 1. That standard form of writing in an odd number. Now I take this here now and plug it in here. Then 5n plus 6 is equal 5, 2k plus 1, that's the n here, plus 
six equals 10K plus 11 equals 10K plus 10 plus one. Because I need to get this as an odd number, so I need to have a one at the end here. So you can write this as equal to two, 5K plus five plus one. You call this L, so that's two L plus one, which is what? Odd. Okay, let's take a, a, another example. Example number three. Okay, we're going to say show that, show sum of two odd numbers is even. Okay, again, you need to um, understand what you're trying to do. So if I'm adding any two odd numbers, I should get an even number. So I tried five plus seven, 12 is fine. Uh, take nine plus uh, another odd number, seven, you get 16 is even. So we're going to try to prove this for any two odd numbers. You add them, you get an even number. So let A, B be odd numbers. C equals A plus B. So now this is your, this is your P and you want to prove this to be uh, even, that's your Q. So now, proof. Okay, A is equal, to, it's an odd number, 2K plus one. B is equal, now some students will put 2K plus one, but that's not really uh, correct because you're making those to be equal. So you're taking an A and times it by two, it's going to have an even, it's going to be end up being an even number anyway. So what you need to do, you need to distinguish this. You could K1 here and K2 here. That's your A and that's B. So now C is equal to A plus B is equal, you add them, 2K1 plus one plus 2K2 plus one equals two K1 plus K2 plus one. See, one plus one is two. So that is two L, you call all of this L, which is what? Even. So we started with two odd numbers, we added them up, we got an even number. Example number four. Show sum of two rational numbers is rational. Sum of two rational numbers is rational. Okay, so that put x, <clears throat> x and y are <clears throat> rationals. X plus Y. We need to prove this to be rational. So <clears throat> proof. <coughs> okay, uh, what do we have here? We have, uh, we have X and y both are rational numbers. Then you put x, a over b, y, c over d, a, b, c, d, or, or these are uh, 
integers a b c d are integers and also b is different than zero and d is different than zero okay so you can put b d b different than zero and d different than zero so you have this is your assumption that a is x is a, is a rational number and y is a rational number now z equals x plus y equals a over b plus c over d <coughs> and now you have to make a common denominator you multiply this by d you multiply this by b you get a d plus c b or b c divided by b d and obviously this is uh, of the form say p over q and this one is uh, all integer that's an integer number and this one is a number and that this one is different than zero so that uh, proves that the sum of two rational numbers is rational Um, let's give you another example. That's, that's example number uh, five. Okay, uh, show product of two odd numbers. is odd so again i can try to make sense of this if i take take five times seven five is odd seven is odd five times seven is 35 is odd and take three uh, times uh, five we get 15 15 also odd, not odd number so we need to prove this you can set it up say let a b b odd numbers and c equals a b so we need to prove write it down we need to prove c is odd that's what we need to prove so again you look here's the proof okay what do we have we have a b are odd numbers so a is equal to 2k plus 1 again k1 and b is equal to 2k2 plus 1 odd odd c is equal to a times b is equal to 2k1 plus 1 times 2k2 plus 1 equals uh, 2 that's 4 k1 k2 and then plus 2k1 plus 2k2 plus 1 and obviously you can see that there's a 2 here and this is one here so you can you can just equal two two k1 k2 plus k1 plus k2 plus one and you call this l two l plus one which is odd now Number six, I'm going to prove if n square is even, then n is even. So this is your p and this is your q. 
So assume n square is even. Prove n is even. Okay, so proof. So n square is equal to 2k. And all this positive because n square is a positive number. <coughs> so now n is equal to square root of 2k. But there's no way for me to know that this can be written as 2 times L. So the direct method fails. Does not work. Seven. So we uh, we started uh, at the beginning. Let's say uh, show if let's say if five n plus six is odd, then n is odd. Earlier we proved if n is odd, five n plus six is odd. Now I'm going to see to see if five n plus six is odd, then n is odd. So this is your P and this is your Q. S suppose or assume 5n plus 6 is odd. Prove n is odd. Proof. OK, 5n plus 6. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, is equal to odd 2k plus 1. Uh, then 5n is equal to 2k minus 5. And n is equal to 2 over 5k minus 1. And there's, that's not really a standard form of writing an odd number. So again, we cannot use direct method. Direct method. Does not work. So in the next uh, video, we will see how to deal with situations like that when the direct method does not work. Thank you. See you soon.